Hey everyone, this is Ryan Corcoran with Broadcast Buddy TV, the all-around go-to channel for all things broadcast television. Where on this channel, it is our goal to equip you with the tips, tricks, and know-hows to help make you a better broadcaster. So if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing, hit that bell icon so you never miss an upload. With that being said, today I wanted to kick off a little bit of a mini-series. And uh, the goal of this mini-series is going to show you uh, one of the projects that I've worked on in the past and that is uh, creating a mobile production unit, uh, specifically a trailer that houses the, uh, the fly pack that you've seen me working on in other videos. So the point of this mini series would be to essentially show you the uh, progression of the completion of this trailer from start to finish. And I thought that with this first video, I could go over the original designs in the Lucid chart that I had made prior to starting the build. And then in the uh, upcoming sequential weeks, I can release uh, some of those pre-shot update videos. So with that being said, let me pull up Lucid Chart and we'll go into the designs. All right, so here we are in Lucid Chart, and uh, this was the uh, the original design here that I put together to kind of map out how the trailer was going to be uh, put together. And uh, really the whole concept with this design initially was, uh, it was kind of a funny story actually. We, we ran into this venue that uh, the cable runs from the truck to the actual venue was a nightmare. It was, it was ridiculous. There was no easy access to anything and it was, uh, it was without a doubt cable run of nightmares, uh, weaving in and out of stairwells, getting, in, it was terrible. So I had this uh, idea, all right, well, what if we had this uh, fly pack on wheels that we could, you know, primarily have housed in a, uh, in a trailer structure, but then when we needed to, we could just roll it out and, uh, you know, take it inside to the venues that we needed to, like hotels or, you know, this uh, nightmare fueling, uh, rage inducing place that we were at where the cable runs were just terrible. So uh, that's what kind of inspired this whole thing was the uh, trailer fly and pack hybrid that you see here. And uh, I, I can certainly go over this in more detail in maybe another video. Let me know in the comments below if you would like. But this is essentially the, uh, the rack system here for the fly pack. Um, so it houses all of the equipment and uh, the trailer essentially just becomes like a giant breakout section. Uh, so again, everything is housed here in the in the main fly fly pack itself. So uh, in the trailer design, um, we had put in an order for a two door trailer because I wanted to essentially put a wall um, dividing this here, the front and the back, so that we could essentially have a uh, subsection back here, which is where the uh, shader in a box is located. So you got your shader section here. Uh, you have an engineering and an outboarding as well. So just in case you need to have a little bit of uh, uh, extra seating space, you can have someone here doing something else, working or whatever. And uh, the, the idea is that these two tables uh, would be either shallow and permanent or have some uh, bit of uh, flexibility like folding within them so you could fold them up and easily have room to still uh, wheel this out uh, out the back so the the back portion of this is actually a uh, giant door right so a standard uh, trailer door that uh, opens up in the back uh, again for easy access to rolling this in and out um, so uh, on the other side of this wall you would have your uh, main stations here as far as uh, technical director, director, and producer. Or uh, in smaller builds, you could always, you know, have your TD and director be one and the same and still have a producer here if you need to. Now, um, the other idea was uh, so that everyone else could see in, in the back rows here, since you can kind of tell that the monitors for the fly pack are just kind of uh, in place here at the top, I wanted to also have monitors above this when it was docked in the uh, trailer. 
So that was the concept here. So another reason why I wanted the wall here in between was so that I could mount these monitors up here and uh, bring the multi viewers up or you know make them routable or whatever, just put whatever you need to put there. Um, specifically so that your replay operator and your CG operator back here in the back row would have a clear view of uh, all the sources without having to spend additional money on getting them their own multi viewers. Um, so in the way back here, we have a completely isolated chamber for audio. Um, and again, audio, because the, uh, the fly pack is running off of the uh, graphite for its main uh, switcher system, has its own built in audio system called Rave. So uh, essentially that has a little MIDI controller, the uh, Behringer X-Touch, as well as a touchscreen monitor that they use to uh, open and close faders and EQ through uh, Ross dashboard. So uh, we wanted to give the audio guy their own little isolated uh, chamber here. Just it's very common in uh, the audio world to do have somebody isolated uh, so that they have the ability that they can hone in on particular sounds without uh, disturbing the rest of the uh, the crew while in production uh, for sound. And I also had wanted to put a little window here, a um, little plexiglass window between the, uh, the audio booth and the rest so that if needed, uh, the uh, audio guy could also see the sources off of the uh, main monitors as well as uh, communicate visually to uh, the director or producer or anyone that they potentially need to. Um, so the trailer overall, 28 foot and uh, about 24 foot as far as actual uh, production space. Uh, so yeah, this is this is about it. This is the uh, original design. These are the uh, wheel wells here on the side. So this uh, is all in here. And I, I also wanted to have a bit of an elevated floor here, um, which you'll see uh, me talk about in some of the update videos coming up. But uh, uh, the reason I wanted an elevated floor was to essentially put in a uh, a false floor so that we could run some of those cables back and forth. But really wiring wise, since everything is uh, just already in the fly pack, it became very easy to uh, just run wires, uh, breakout wires to these stations just to, uh, you know, for keyboard and mouse and even for control on certain devices. So the goal behind this little mini series is to uh, start to help release a uh, string of consistent content for you guys. Um, I know my upload schedule is uh, a little few and far between just because I have so many other things going on. So I wanted to uh, try and give you guys a little bit more consistency with this. So uh, again, look for the uh, update videos in the coming weeks and uh, we'll catch you right here next time on Broadcast Buddy TV.